tricks to do. <laughs> we don't know either. You think I knew that was gonna happen? Improv. All right, what's going on guys? Nick here with John, and we got a little special guest with us today, Tim, one of our coworkers. I got my mom in the background over there. So we got about a total of like 10 to 15 new beers again, so. A bevy of beverages. <laughs> You don't even know we're in London yet. Calm down, you. When are you going to London? Uh, the 12th. Whenever this the month? bridge comes falling down. What? Oh, this month? No, the 12th is already gone. I mean, of September, right? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> this <laughs> month is August still. You know, I've yeah. been off since July, so. Yeah, you had a baby, that's right. <laughs> when you have a kid, your IQ goes down by like 10 points, no matter what happens. Dude, my IQ is already like 12, so. <laughs> Don't, don't add insult to injury. So we're gonna start off here. This is one that me and my mom found. It sounds good, it's a hazy IPA, so I already know John's gonna love it. About 10% alcohol on this thing. I thought you liked hazy. No. no. Only thing John likes hazy is that green stuff. Ah, uh, weed. Yes, thank you. Your weed slipped on the... Yeah, no, I put it there. It's in the sun gaining flavor that should be enough there because it's a little bit stronger we haven't ate yet we're gonna be doing some grilling here in a little bit so kind of want to take a little bit not I guess I already know I'm spilling god damn it party fouling over party here. foul party foul First, sir. somewhat then our mom was actually gonna get on this one too but she does not want to be on camera nope she'll be off camera peanut gallery peanut gallery yes I am all right. And also clean up help. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I can see a little bit of a haze to it. It's actually more like a, as if you'd have like it's a key like lime a one. Or like a shandy. This is yeah. like the, yeah. It's like a shandy. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Skyl. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty light. That's that, that's dangerous. That's like a sitting on the beach. <laughs> yep. Are you serious right now? You're I'm not a fan. Dude, this is like the one of the best IPs I've had so far. No. <laughs> like it's nice and light, but I'm not a fan. I'm usually not a grapefruit fan. Oh, I Those usually hate grapefruit. grapefruit in it? Yeah, this it's got grapefruit, all spice, fruit, and all spice. Yeah. That's what I'm picking up as a grapefruit. I like it. Mm. All right. It my or Rattlers. Yeah. So my skill, that's gonna be about hopsness, a one. Like there's like no hops at all. Yeah. Even with having all spice in there, flavor-wise, that's a five. That's like solid. That is a. That is a perfect. IPA. Hops one, yes. Flavor like two. You, sir. <sighs> no, I I don't know what we're gonna do with you right now. You might go for for adoption. I adoption. I'd say hops are about a I mean can we do it's usually you can do scale one to five. Yeah, oh, you can yeah, do you can I'd do say it. hops about a point seven five because it's not like hoppy whatsoever. But flavor wise, I feel like if it had a little bit of like a melon taste to it to it would be just a little bit better but it overall I'd a little say bit more kind of like a, a crispiness to it yeah it, it's a it's a five it could use a little bit more of a you sir suck right now you <laughs> we know that i don't like hazies all right you so do what else he's up do? for adoption if any of you guys want just claim him down below in the comments <laughs> No, no, don't do that. I had enough of that a last right. couple nights through. Oh, uh, has he not been sleeping well? He's going through his six week birth spurt. Oh, so he's in pain. So it's... I might have to go inside and get a bottle in there. I, I don't have my keys. I drove my wife's car, so... I don't have my bottle opener with me today. Hello, YouTube. Now you're stuck with me and Tim. What a deadly combination this could be. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, John, they could probably smell you from there. Good thing they don't have smell of like Yeah, that won't happen until maybe another 10 years. Excuse me. 
Alright, so this one's actually no for... No excuse for you, John. How dare. This one I want John's reaction first, because this is one I picked for him, but then we'll all share it. So you really don't like hazies and IPAs? No. I drink, most of the time when I drink them on camera like this, it's mostly just for the face. Yeah, his reaction's at a desk. Because I don't like so them. So you don't like, like any of the Warpix stuff? Not really. Don't they have like one that's like not an IPA though? They have a couple, like they have a stout that's kind of rough. That's this one. Are you? <laughs> I, I just want you to try and I just want, and then I'll say it because I also want to. I want a blind taste test. It's not bad, but it feels like there's something in there that's not that's holding it back. So this one's by Great Lakes Brewing Company. <coughs> this is their Elliot Ness Amber uh, Lager. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I liked it because it was cool, like gangsterish. Yeah, that's true. Good yeah, logo. Yeah, that does. Looks like something like Prohibition style. Yeah. It does taste you... good. It just, it feels like there's something there that's kind of holding it back a little bit. I'm going to say hops are a two. Flavor is like a three and a half. That's good flavor. It just feels like there's something. I'm not really aging myself because I'm only like probably two years older than you and like three years older than Nick. We are the same age. So three years older than both of you guys. Okay, there we go. Did you guys ever have the. Coors Prohibition that came out. I it don't was think the so. The black bottle. It was like the. I've heard of what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. I know something. exactly what you're talking about, but I've. Ne I don't think I've had it. My dad that's, probably has. That's what that reminds me of. Just the flavor and the bot or the not the flavor. You haven't had the flavor yet. No, not the <laughs> not yet, but the. Just the color and the. What was this one? This was the Elliot Ness Amber Lager. A lager. All right, so next one's a cool one. I liked it because of the design and the name. This one's called Hazer Tag. It's a, another hazy IPA, calm down. This one's by Odell Brewing Company. <coughs> Ooh, you do that again. No. This one's a brewed in Fort Collins, Colorado. Odell has some. Oh, yo, Odell is a good brewing company. They used to have Except a... for Beckham. Junior. It's insane. A football player that. Yeah, I know Beckham. What was his name? Odell? Odell, Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. Oh. Goes by OBJ. Oh, I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> Objective from Call of Duty. Sure, we'll go with that for now. Those are John's, Nick's, and then Kirby. All right, you ready for this? Even your stove smell wise, that kind of smells actually that. decent. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. 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 Come up. <laughs> you a fucking cat? Yeah. I can see why you did that with this one. It's, but, got, it's got that piney, like, bit It's got a little bit of a fruitier it's, taste. It's hoppier. But, I mean... Is it an IP? Is it? Yeah, it's a hazy IP. Yeah. Look at this design, though, like... Oh, the design's the kick-ass. Because IPAs have the best designs out there. I've had a lot of Odell... Odell has a couple different IPAs that I've had that aren't that bitter. This one just has, like, a bitter, bitter note to it. I'm not minding it. I mean, it's refreshing. All right, hops two and a half, flavor two. Hop, I'll agree with him on that two and a half at least is it is a hazy. For me, flavor wise, about a about a four, pretty decent, pretty good. I'll give it hops about I got two and a half on the hops. Uh, well, three and a half on the flavor. I just feel like it's missing something it almost has like mosaic hops to it in a way yeah I, you you and me both knew exactly what we were going for it's like they were trying to do something but they're missing yeah they're missing like I mean, one ingredient to make it just even a little bit better and i don't even like ipas oh, and i can recognize i know that. what you're tasting it's what the passion I? fruit ah uh, this is this has a 
passion fruit and citrus notes engulf in the palate in a dynamo of hazy hop goodness. Draw your phaser and see how you measure up in our latest game of Hazer Tag. That's still a cool name. I'm not going to argue that. That's a good name. It looks like Master Chief on there, too. If yeah. <laughs> yeah, like bootleg Master yeah. Chief. Why does the front of his like little part look like the dog face? Like, if you look right there, it looks like it has like a little dog nose and like right there. <laughs> it really does. Like, hold on, camera. I'm going to show this to you because why not? Oh, can I see it? Focus. But, like, the little part underneath his mask, like, right there, it kind of looks like a dog or, like, a cat, like, muzzle or something like that, and now I cannot unsee it, and it's bugging me. Do you have one in your collection or something? What, a cat muzzle? <laughs> a dog and one his, for your mouth. And his bondage gear, I'm sure. Nah. <laughs> the dog goes, woof, woof. Like, but don't you see it? It's like the robot dog. You have to look really fucking hard to try that hard to see it. Okay, and I saw it in what, 10 seconds? Yeah, you're trying to run. All right, so, as we all know, tis the season for spooky. We love the spook around here. So I actually found us a limited edition Oktoberfest lager. This one's brewed, apparently in beautiful Decora, Iowa. I don't know what makes it beautiful. I'm pretty sure there's nothing but freaking corn around there would be my guess. Corn! I should know my dad's from Iowa, so uh, he's a master of corn counting. Isn't it corn and soybeans is what Iowa's known for? Yeah. That's what a lot of the planes... And the Iowa 80 truck stop. That actually does sound familiar. Yeah, we should not? be okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. So that's gonna be nice and dark. Okay, these two are mine. These three are mine. And that's okay. his too. I'll give you a new one. There you go. Okay, we'll use that one because I don't have any stuff in it, so they don't mix up too much. I'm not dying to hurry. Not yet. Only now, slowly. For me, I've not always been the biggest October fan fest. I mean, October fest fan. October fan fest. That sounds, sounds like, sounds like a like meetup idea. Fan. That is a meet. <laughs> that's just people who like October because it has Halloween in it. That's just an October fan fest. How many of you are, are Halloween fans? Let us know. I mean, Halloween is fun. Not gonna. All argue. right. Cheers and cheers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, that is good. That. Yeah. That is wonderful. <laughs> that is, so, that's a nice lager. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. This is like, this is a perfect, it's just starting to get chilly for fall, but yeah, you can still have a nice bonfire and kind of kick back and relax kind of beer. <sighs> what lovely. I like that a lot. That's... I need a pretzel now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can we agree on this? It's like a one or a one and a half on the hops at the absolute most. Oh, I'd say a one. Yeah, if and, that. And then flavor would be like. I mean, I'd go up to like 4.9. I was gonna say at least a four and a half. I was willing to go higher, but if anyone was gonna be arguing. I'd say 4.7. Okay, so we'll go 4.7. We're, we're nice. basically right in that range yeah. of like, this is like. That was delicious. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, but, that was, but, that was yummy, yummy, oh, yummy. That was. Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> have you ever had this? Yeah, I have. I'm not a fan. Because it tastes like red food coloring. It's a one every, once every, like, year? Five years. Oh, okay. I pulled it into the gas station because my wife was like, stop and get wavy chips for the dip. And I was like, okay. This one that you got me. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Really? Ah. Yes. Well, you can have the one that I brought as well. Don't worry, we won't. We'll get to it, but. Wee! Oh, we got a buster. <laughs> yeah, we do.
but I've been Cat Nigel. I've been long time, time ago. Long time ago. Where'd you come, come from? from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come, come from? Cat Nigel. Nigel. Ooh, warm. I don't think I've heard that since my wedding. But I've been in my 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 it's I, nothing bad, I promise. I already saw it. God damn it, you piece of shit. I think I've had that one before too, actually. Yeah, it's from Normal, Illinois. Hell yeah, Distill Brewery. At least you're not getting into like the alcoholic kombuchas and all that. I've had that before. They're only okay. I just clipped my nails today too, so this is... I only... I'll drink regular kombucha here and there. It's all about the struggle bus right now. Alright, there we go but not too often. I think I got this for my mom one time because she also enjoys sours. Do and you like some? Yeah, I'll try some. I like sours. And I don't know if it's this one exactly <coughs> or was another one made by them, but I definitely had one of these before. I don't care for sours, but Nick will even try it himself. You know what this, color-wise what it looks like is like... A rosé. ATF4. Transmission. It kind of looks like transmission fluid a little bit. Okay, I wasn't expecting to go there. All right. I've only had it. I only <laughs> know that because it's transmission fluid. <laughs> because it's. I Happiness. was working on my old truck and it sprayed all over my mom's shirt when she was helping me or something. <laughs> oh, I just got a whiff of that. Ah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, that's. Yeehaw. Yeah, it's good and puckery, ain't it? <laughs> that. That makes you uh, become an innie. <laughs> Something's it's, pucking already, I can tell you that much. It's so tasty, it's oh. still so good to me. Oh yeah, it's still so yummy. <laughs> I like sours, we've been through this before. That, that's actually not, it's not bad. Of course it's not. <laughs> it's dragon fruit mango, if we didn't say that earlier. Uh, hops is like a one. I think we can all agree on that one. There's no hops to it. Yeah. Flavor, I'm giving that thing a five. Sourness scale, that's like a four. Ah, three and a half. Three and a half sourness. I'll say sourness is a four. Okay. There we go. It's like bitter beer face. A Yay. little bit. Oh, stop it. No, actually, I had like crap right here. You had a little bit of phlegm. Yeah, because of for some reason, allergy season is going to start kicking in early. I can feel already. Woo -hoo. It's just me, myself, and I. Okay, don't want to get copyright. It's just me, myself, <laughs> and I. I don't want to go die. Hey, that's a positive thing. I don't want to. <laughs> Yahtzee. He said Yahtzee, okay, folks. Kramer. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Not the N-Z. Mm. Not yet. New Zealand? Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. N-Z, New Zealand. Alright, I'll do one that John brought. Woo! That's not one I brought. Oh, that is one I brought. <laughs> Did you see that was the one like we Looks like something oh, rhubarb. Yeah. A Back rhubarb sour. sour. It's another That's sour, weird. folks. It's another sour. You had another two options that I brought that you could have chosen. Mankato Brewing is a damn fine brewery for their some of their most of their beers. They have a couple like Organ Grinder, which is incredible. Is it an IPA or what is it? Uh yes, I think it's an IPA. There you go. There's Ruby. Ruby the Rhubarb, who also looks like Lilith from uh, Borderlands. And like a uh, little... Lilith if she got liposuction. I was thinking like a buff Lucille ball. No, not Lilith. Uh, yeah, she looks like Lilith, but who's the catcher eyed girl? <laughs> <laughs> not Tiny Tina. It's time to catch a ride! I know who exactly you're talking about too. No, I got it! You got it? Are you a big strong man? You don't need no man? I do need a woman though, so hit me up in the DMs, please. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, nerd. Oh, what the? That was a. 
That was a spicy open. Spicy beer opening. That is a spicy uh, hot dog. Oh, this wow. one's like right to the top too. Yeah, it is. Yum, yum, yum. I was expecting it to be... Pretty lucky. <laughs> Oh, well, it's only rhubarb. There's no strawberry in this one. Yeah, but it's white. Rhubarb's red. I thought, yeah, I thought it would be more colorful. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but just because it's red doesn't mean it's going to look red. Okay. Hells to the I'm end. not happy about this, folks, just so you know. Mmm. 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 It's still so good. Ah. Okay, that one's actually better than the dragon fruit. It kind of is. <laughs> this one's definitely a lot less sour. That's for sure. John's over here basically air humping my table right now, folks. Just no, I'm up. not. I'm doing a little side to side. Yeah. Elbows up, side to side. I'm not going to sing anymore because of copyright. I'll be here all day, folks. Unfortunately. Yummy. <laughs> One of the hops, five on the flavor. Sourness is a good old four. Hell this yeah. one's getting washed out now. <laughs> it's like one of those sh shots that your happy is over. This was John yesterday after me and him went to the bar and I bought him a shot of Crown Royal Apple. Ugh. Crown Apple? You don't like Crown Apple? I don't like Crown Royal in general. Crown Apple's delicious. I prefer Crown Tennessee Honey. Crown Peach is delicious too. I actually haven't had a Crown Peach. Okay, we're gonna hold on for just a second. We got a strong wind of gust out of nowhere. Ah, but it's a lovely day here. Can't deny that. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful careful, day in my neighborhood. I don't know if they can copyright that. R.I.P. to Mr. Rogers. Can they copyright something that's on the public broadcast station? Not anymore since he's basically passed away. Unfortunately, like I said, R.I.P. I remember the day I found out he passed away, and I was very, very sad. I was going to say, hasn't he been gone for... Like a decade and a half? Yeah. Because I remember, I woke, I remember it was middle school for me. I woke up in the middle of the bloody night. It was like 3 a.m. And I was trying to figure out, like, well, I'm not falling back. It was one of those days where it's like, I can't fall back asleep just no matter what I do. You were sad because you didn't know why and you turned the TV on. And then, yeah, Mr. Rogers was there and I was like on the TV. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for doing that this time. <clears throat> okay. Did you get a chance to look or not? Uh, I saw the logo, but nothing else. Okay. I actually don't know anything about this. Close your eyes. We're going to do this blind. Blind. <laughs> because, I mean, I'm hoping this one's going to make you happy. Uh, is, it, is it a hazy or an IPA? Neither. Okay, then I should make This one happy. is one of yours that I picked for you. Woo! There you go, YouTube. It was, it's kind of like a... I haven't poured it just yet. Just Okay. It's kind of like a Northwood style or something. Northwood. Okay. Where's the can? I'll help you. Where's your hand? There was a couple years Put it ago on the that table. my dad was at this meat raffle. There well, it was a meat raffle, but there was also a beer, an assortment of beer that you could win. Ooh. Well, instead of the meat, he chose the assortment of beer. <laughs> and it was. Hold on one second. Yep, I'm just gonna put my hand right here so you can put it there in a second. There Go ahead, Tim. There is a sweet potato beer that indeed You're put good. out. It was called Yo Mama Jamma. Okay. Sweet potato beer? The it absolute. Was good. It actually wasn't horrible. <laughs> if it was cold, like really cold, it was. It was wonderful. John what looks like that? he's played this game before in college. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't with alcohol. What's no. in this one, oh, wait, I don't know, but it it tastes weird, but it smells bad. <laughs> it smells bad? <laughs> the smells 
like take a sniff. For Did me, it, it smell like stinky socks, like the one you guys smell. We're before? not playing the old college sniff. Kind test. of. It All kind right, of makes so me think of boiled. This one's by stuff. Indeed. This one's called Loretta's, Loretta's Dark Lager. Oh. I mean, it's not bad flavor. It's just weird. This one is notes of toasty, malty, and good. But that's it. That's really what it says. Notes of toasty, malty, good. All right, like, I want to try something. Like, you, I'm literally not shitting you guys. No, it literally no. says good on there. I'm I'm not one easy of lying, so I I'll, I'll corroborate 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 his story. It doesn't. <laughs> It no. doesn't smell like really anything. Nothing will top though that freaking sweaty gym sock beer. That oh, was nasty. Oh, that yeah, was fine. that was bad. Well, yeah, that, I mean, I can see where you said it tastes weird. Yeah, it, it's like not bad, but just odd. Um, hops is like a two. Flavor, I'd say about a three point six. Pretty good, I would have it again. I'm gonna finish it later, but not something that I would pick out all the time. All right, next round. This one's for tasting for everybody. This one's by Great Lakes. It's called Kick Around. This has passion fruit, orange, and guava in it. Guava. Okay, Psyduck. Guava. Careful, you're going to mention Pokemon. Oh, we can mention a Pokemon. Psyduck. We just can't sing like the Pokemon rap, even though that is a bop. R.I.P. to that, uh... Wait, no. He didn't actually pass away yet. No, not yet. The guy he, who... Well, let's not say not yet. Let's, 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 <laughs> bless his soul. Hopefully you live longer, my good friend. Absolutely. Um, the person who just died that was sad for everyone was that the guy who... P.B. Herman. Uh, yes, but no, I'm thinking of the guy who did the cha-cha slide. He passed away. Oh, the DJ? Yeah. Yeah. DJ Cal something. Oh, not, I can't remember what his actual name was. Unfortunately, with a C. All right. All you right. Ready for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Cheers. Ooh. Well, that's lovely. That's like what you want to drink when you're sitting on the beach. Kind of like what I I've thought about that. I've got my toes TV. in the water, ass, ass in the, the sand. sand, and we're not Screw gonna you, YouTube, sing anymore. Screw you, YouTube! You're not gonna copyright me. Copyright me. Ness, ness. You know what? Hey, mom, you wanna give us a? Kind of tastes like. You would actually enjoy this one, I think. This is right up our alley. It's like juicy fruit. It's like your hot summer nights, except without the hops, which makes it better. Much better than that. That's good. That's delicious. Yeah. It I has like a hint of sour to it. It tastes like juicy fruit. You, kind of, it, yeah. He actually does. Well, yeah, yeah, actually, you're right. It's like juicy fruit gum. Oh, it doesn't. I hate you guys for saying that. But it's not wrong. No, you want to remind me of a little bit? Is those old fruit stripes, the, the zebra? Yeah, the fruit stripe <laughs> gum. Oh. I was thinking about that because it smelled like the... Oh, crap. Like, it, <laughs> the flavor lasts as long as I gummed it, about like 15 seconds, then you're having to get, get another sip in. But it's a good sip. Alright, on to the next. Yeah, yeah. Better up. Two to nothing. <laughs> they won. Yeah. So well, the, the twins? Yeah. Oh, okay, good for the twins. I'm a White Sox fan. They've had a rough run lately, though. Well, they really have won too bad. They just won this homestand. There are six games up on uh, Cleveland. <clears throat> Ooh! You're doing the other ones I brought. Yep, because we have three that we've done that of yours, what, three of the ones runs. that we've done together. <laughs> the Braves are, and I hate the Braves, hate them, but uh, boy, they're pretty tough. I'm oh, doing yeah. damn squirrels. You're just throwing acorns at you. Yep. I might have to go get the uh, pistol out and go hunting. This is one I brought. This one I happened to come across when um, the company oh. Sierra Nevada came through. That is a dark boy. Yes. It's an Imperial IPA. So it's a mixture of an Imperial, like an Imperial Stout and IPA. So like Imperial from uh, Stormtroopers? Except they won't miss their, this won't miss their shot. Ah, it definitely will not miss their shot. I don't know, flavor wise it might. Oh, wait, hold on. I just want to double check. Cause this one, yeah, this is a 9.2. This is 9.2 alcohol content. So AKA yummy. 
kind of weird scent. Oh, there. it's it's odd, but it's lovely. Cause it's a weird mix. Okay, if you missed We're that. We're back. If Sorry. You, if, yeah, we might we might miss that um uh, catching of that moment of, oh. <laughs> of Tim and Nick hating the beer and me going ah. <sighs> I mean, you know what? I deserve this for making you try the double IPA, the clown shoes. But this is one that you, in theory, would like. It's an IPA. Oh, man. It's an imperial IPA. That don't mean nothing. But it's tasty. That is a rough imperial. Yeah, that is a... That's a bad boy. Whew. Yahtzee! Again, Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Like the game. Um, hops is like a four. Flavor for me is also a four. <laughs> I'd say hops is a Hops is five. a four and a half. Flavor of a fucking one. How dare you. Point five. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> They're acting like they just got like out of like a meter, like a hundred meter dash for a second. They're like, oh. <laughs> oh. This is what I want everybody to try. This is a rice lager. Woo! I found one at Total Wine. If we were shouting out Total Wine a lot, it's just because they're the easiest way to get like. They have a huge yeah, variety. They are absolutely humongous. If anyone happens to be watching this in other parts of the U.S., maybe you would also refer to Binnie's as the same thing as a Total Wine and more. They have Total all over the U.S. now. Okay, so... There's not in Illinois. There's never been... Oh, they Illinois. haven't hit in Illinois yet? No, right. definitely not. We'll be right back, folks. I might have to switch out the battery here. Low battery. There we go. All right, we're back, guys. Now, as I was saying beforehand, this is a rice lager. This is called Doki Doki. Do not get it mistaken for that weird-ass game that... Creeped everybody out because it's fucked up. Or okie dokie. Okie dokie, Smokey. Mm -hmm. The bear? Uh, good old Smokey the Who bear. failed us this year with four forest fires? Well, did it fail us or did it fail Canada? Both. Yeah. So what I mean, we, you what are the ones who had to pay the price with the smoke? You could say failed Canada, us. We got the we got the backhand. Even technically Hawaii because there was a lot, there was a lot of... Yep. Yeah, Shadows. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta point there. Yeah. That's... But I will say, they did good in Colorado. Got them higher than a kite. Ha. Huh. Smoking and token. Look at how light that is. Woo woo. Smells really Enjoy. Like crisp. It's like a cider. Oh, that is like a cider. That's, that's actually dangerous. That's really light. Tastes like you're drinking water. Yeah. It's literally like that light. This is like... What's the ABV? Four? It's got to be pretty damn light in order for it to be out. 4.5. 4.5, yeah. So not, not a strong one, but man, this is... This is an easy drinker, folks. This one is one you can just drink and drink and drink. You're literally basically drinking water. It's... <clears throat> it honestly makes me think of like a Coors Light. Just how much... E how like easy it is to drink. Eh, of course has more flavor though. You got a point there. But that's also from like wheat. This is rice. Rice is naturally like a less flavorful. It would be more Bud Light. Okay. Because rice and barley is more of the Bud Light spectrum. Yeah, but I don't drink Bud Light because I don't like Bud Light. Not because of mm -hmm. other things. Shout out to, the, Bud, to uh, the Spectrum that he just talked about. I'm on a Spectrum. Yay! Yay! I drink Bud Light because of my stomach issues. Oh yeah, and it's just easier on your stomach. Yeah. Okay. But I don't. I don't drink too much right now because I'm now on blood thinners. Oh but yeah. But I uh, you don't have want that. been drinking. Uh, I've been drinking Bush Light. Yeah, John? Bush Bush Light was my drink of choice back in college. John. What? Pick a glass. Close your eyes. Um, the one in front of me. Cool. My eyes are indeed closed. Tim and your mom can confirm. Last night I felt, found myself drinking Modelo. Modelo? I love Modelo. Modelo is one of my favorite of the Mexican beers. <laughs> there was a liquor store when we were out running errands. Liquor store we stopped at. 
I didn't have 24 or didn't have 12 packs so they cut <laughs> 24 packs in half and put <laughs> packing tape on the end and we're selling them as 12 packs. Oh, I have seen that before. That's All right. always hilarious. Can I look open now? Yep, go ahead. Woo! Motor oil. Yes, it is. <laughs> look at that darkness. It's like my soul. Your soul's like pink. It is not pink. It's probably yellow. It's brown for rocks. <laughs> Lovely. That's not the one I brought. No. <sighs> That's a good one. I like that a lot, actually. Hey, orange stock. The toasted porter one. I last, figured you would like this one. One of the la last videos we had, we had, what was the, the, the Pilsner? Oh. Yeah. And that one was all right. I've had the lager. The lager's delicious. I haven't had the porter yet. The porter's <laughs> delicious. This is good. Nice and toasted. Which is why Nick ain't trying it. <laughs> Tim didn't say yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's still thinking. No, that's really good. It's like, it's like s'mores. Well, that makes sense. It's toasted, so that would that kind of make sense. There's a little bit, there's like a chocolatey, almost like a roastedness to it. And it's wonderful. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is the last of the ones I brought. And this, this, my, this people, before, before you guys drink it, this was the beer that is still my top five favorite beers to this day. And I will not lie, I love this beer, and I will never ever change that opinion. Can another brother that can't deny? Yeah. What food would you pair with it? Um, a good burger. It's a Bach. It's a Bach beer. So it's lighter than a porter, but a little bit darker than a lager. And it usually doesn't have very much of a coffee flavor, and this one does not have that coffee flavor. I'll be the judge of that. Oh. In Texas, right? Houston. Yeah. No. Well, actually, it says know. right back here. Yeah, it literally says Houston, they're, Texas. They're in oh. Houston. I thought it somewhere else. Well, it explains a lot because it has the Houston Astros logo <laughs> on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Gemma, kitty cat. Sorry guys, my cat's outside right now too. Meow. It's like a little bit around the wrong pipe. Better Shinerbach. Yes, yes, Shinerbach is so damn overrated. This is the king of the box But you can't get this. No, you can't, and it makes me sad. But the this fact is- you can so walk good. into a Walmart down in Texas, where they sell full, full strength beer, mm. beers, and get Shiner Bach any time of day. You know what I've just been realizing? What? We haven't been doing our scales for like the last couple now. I've been trying to kind of inter, inter, I'm trying to put it back in a little bit. Integrate, that's what I was looking for. I was trying to put it back in, but uh, hasn't been working out too well. I'd say that's uh, definitely five for flavor. There's no. Yes. I'd give it about a four. No you know what? Flavor. I'll take that from you. A dark beer that's a four. That's good for you. So I'm happy with that. I'll take that win. Uh, hops is also like a one and a half. I wouldn't even say any hops in that. Well, it's a darker beer. Sometimes they toast it a little bit. So you got a little, you got a little bit in there. Still my top five beers of all time. I will drink that until I die if I could. Why are you having such a problem? Lawrence is looking. We have three left. This is this is one of three. This is a Kolsch. Okay. It's by Wabasha Brewing Company. Once again, Minnesota. Yeah. This one's called Kolsch of the Wild. Once again, fucking badass logo. Yeah, that's good. I hey, mean, go away, watch. Yeah, like, that's actually. Go away. go away. I'm blocking out the wasp right here. It's like basketball. <laughs> there you go. Get all of it out. He knows how to do that very well. <laughs> he knows how to burp a baby. <laughs> Oh, uh, 
I know you faked that, but it's still great. <laughs> there was one night my wife was feeding Tate and was burping him and that thing you know she just lets out this big like 10 second burp and I'm sl and like I'm sleeping and I woke up for it. <laughs> I'm proud of you little one but then he spit up right after and I was yeah like, that's I, right I mean I don't blame you that big of a push when push comes to shove the aftermath is the least of your concerns yeah Nothing like baby bile on your shoulder. All right. Ooh, ooh, this one's gonna be a nice one. This feels dangerous already. It's like warm apple pie. Ooh, -hoo. it's just me, me myself, myself, and I. I. We sing out of key, so you can't copyright us. Ha! Suck it, YouTube. Suck it, copyright claim people. You already made like millions of dollars off the song. Let us have a, like our one little thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking good. Oh, that's delicious. That is very good. Uh, one of the hops, like, actually I'd go as like a five on the flavor. That is beautiful. That is like, the, the saying on here, it says, the core of a person's spirit comes from new experiences by Into the Wild, which is very true. Sometimes we gotta take risks in life. That is true. Damn, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Gemma, don't even think about it. Is she an escape artist? No. She tries to. All right. Lay down. Are you gonna be in the house with the other two? Time for another one. Oktoberfest lager. Hey. I wanna go to Oktoberfest. Which one? The real one. Oh, in, in uh, Germany. Munich? Munich. Munich, that's right. Where David was and he wore Lederhosen? Hofbrauhaus. Yeah, him and his son. Hofbrauhaus beer, by the way. Very tasty. Yeah, her, uh, her, my sister's, or no, my wife's friend lives in Germany. Oh, neat. But they have a seven month, or no, 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 seven month old. I don't know how old she is. A young one. Yeah. Gotcha. So I don't think they're doing Oktoberfest this year. That makes sense. They went to Oktoberfest last year before she found out she was pregnant. Mmm. <laughs> nice. Definitely got some flavor in there. Good flavor in the smells. I still want my pretzel. Oh yeah. That's nice. Damn. <laughs> Prost. I take them like shots. Prost to everyone in the comment section. <clears throat> Hops, two, flavor, four and a half. I'd say this one's, it's gonna be about 3.7 for me. It's a little bit more of a lighter-ish. It's definitely a good lager though. I'm the next one is the one I was looking forward to because of the name. I must say Hops is about two and a half for me. Okay. I don't find it that hoppy. Flavor-wise, I'd say it's probably about a four because all right, so right about the one, 4.1 is our combined flavor profile. Uh, this is by Excelsior Brewing Company. Excelsior! Is that in Minnesota? Um, yeah, I believe so. I think it's Excelsior is up north, I believe, for brewing. Crafted in Minnesota. Yeah, it's going to be up north. I think Ooh. it's in Excelsior, actually. Yeah. Part of the uh, America's Independent Craft Brewing. Uh, All right. Next one's called... The Mad Butcher IPA. Mad Butch. Oh, by Gordon, Main uh, Cater. Oh, I've, I've had that. That's look at this guy. <laughs> you know, I like his. I like the cut of his jib, but man, I don't know if I'm gonna like this beer. It's uh, a six point eight. It's a oh. I just read what one of the hops is. So we're gonna let John. Uh, we're. I'm gonna make sure I'm on camera for this one, so you can actually see my face when I react. <laughs> There you go, let it out. Wants to get away, or I'll smack you. Are you just gonna give me the one pour? I, I just wanna see you try it first. Well, yeah, but we're all gonna try it. Do you really want me to do the first first? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. They used to have a restaurant I would go to that 
Always had Mankato on tap. Oh. They had like 30 or er, 34 different taps. <laughs> there it is. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> That's a good idea. Mm hmm. I can tell the quality is there, but I don't like it. You want to know why? There's it's a mosaic. mosaic. I can tell. I can taste the mosaic hops in there. I had that taste, and I swallowed. It's like, yeah, there's mosaic hops in there. Yeah. This one, Cade would love that. Oh, this is right up Cade's alley. Hops about a two, two point five, maybe pushing it. Three. <laughs> I'd say about a three for hops. It's a, it's a happy. It's on the happier girl side. Uh, flavor wise, though, I'm gonna give this one about a four point three. It's good. Yeah. Two, four. You know what? I'll be kind. Two and a half. <laughs> Thank you. Just for that, John, that's one you gotta finish. Oh no, I am not. Alrighty, folks. So, <sighs> yeah, that was a that was a lot of beer. <laughs> Don't we have one more, or did I miscount? No, that's all fifteen. You have your rolling rock. Unless yeah, we got the rolling rock. rock. Me. Put so, it do it. You ever had rolling rock? Yeah. Probably back in your army days. This is a. This is a. Yeah, this was definitely a beer from like the army. Gee, mom, I wanna go home. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be rolling home. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. What? I keep hey, rolling, hey, rolling. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> You're crawling home. YouTube, I do. Like I said, he's up for sale for anybody. Take. I'll, I'll even give him away for free. <laughs> free? <laughs> I'm worth at least twenty bucks. Not even. So you you're worth when, maybe a freaking hay penny at best. You remember back when those mini kegs were like big? Yeah. Like the 1919 root beers are nowadays? Yeah, they had like Heineken. Or Heineken, Heineken still, yeah, Heineken still, still, something like that. They had 19, or they had Rolling Rock in it. And Rolling Rock was always like the higher end. Because Rolling Rock is delicious. And I will never hear anything to the contrary. It's expensive. Mm -mm. For the. For the, like the mini kegs, it was like the most expensive. Oh. For the mini kegs, I'm thinking about the 30 pack because I bought the 30 pack the other day and I was like, fourteen dollars. It was by Ams 30 packs and I bought a 30. Right. There was no 30 packs available. So here's a review on Rolling Rocks, folks. Hobbs zero. Yes. I'm, I'm breaking our own scale. Yes. Zero. Flavor profile four. This is like an everyday drinker. It's like this is like. A one. It's I, just light. Little, there's little to no taste to it, so that's why I say one because it doesn't really have like an actual taste to like go off. It's of. flavorful to me. Well, it's because you're around from where it was brewed at, you freaking numb nut. Not true. It's brewed in Latrobe. It's a Latrobe Brewing Company. It's like brewed, I think, in Pennsylvania. That's not where he's from. Mentally, he might be with the Amish. Okay, excuse me. It's in St. Louis, so maybe that's closer to me than I thought. Cause we'll be there for oh, you, but and no copyright. How many jokes can I make about that this time? Yeah, that's definitely uh, like. That's got a weird taste, dude. Honestly. After I, work. Oh yeah, I love this after work. It's so good. It's also way too easy to drink. It's so simple to drink. How's it going, mom? After work, throw back a couple kind of thing. Not quite a shower beer kind of. Oh, it's all a right. shower beer for me, my friend. So, before I start talking about freaking showers for some reason, all of a sudden I don't know. Shower what... beer. Come on, have you ever had beer What's in the shower? Time? Yeah. Beer shower? You mean a shower beer? I said a shower beer. You said beer shower. I said shower beer. You said beer. Comments, did he not say beer shower? I said shower beer. I know what I said. John's probably had a golden shower, but that's a different subject. Okay, that's a different subject. Okay, so what's that note, Stop guys? <laughs> Make sure you guys hit that like button for us. It helps me out, because my goal is hopefully to kind of do this full time for you guys. Like, this would be fun. If I move, I'll be able to do a lot more southern stuff for breweries too. I'll do some on my road trip down there in October, and so, Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date, stuff like that. Follow up my Facebook page. Give us a it. thumbs up. Hey, I'm helping you out here. <laughs> As you're fucking interrupting mid-sentence? Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's under the same name as the YouTube channel here, folks. 
We want to say thank you to Tim for coming out and joining us this time around. Thanks, Tim. We appreciate the extra input. Hopefully we can do some more and stuff like that. So with that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.